Welcome back my YouTube families. Let's make a potato, baked potato chips. So you can see already peeled the potatoes. Doesn't matter how many potatoes that you want to use. So I've got here about seven potatoes, medium size. Let's cut them, not chop them, yeah? As you, as you can see, I've already cut all the uh, potatoes. I'm going to drop it in the water. I've got here lots of water in here. That's about maybe, I would say about two, yeah, two and a half liters. It doesn't really matter how much water you want to use. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to put it like half a tablespoon of baking powder, baking soda, sorry. And I'm going to soak it, the potato in there, say about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, remove it from the water, put it in a dry bowl, like so. Drain the excess. Line up some paper towel and we want to drain the excess. Dry as much as you can. Sometimes you can cheat the process using the hair dryer. Want it to be absolutely dry, that would be better, but today I'm not going to. Okay, I think that's good enough. Don't forget to preheat the oven. I'm going to leave it on 200. Okay, so we're going to bake it till it's golden brown, so maybe between 10 to 20 minutes, so check every now and then. Let's move it. I've got a parchment paper here. Spread it. I'm going to drizzle some oil on it. I'm using tea tree oil. You can use any oil that you have, really doesn't matter. Some salt. Just take some salt. Okay. You can add some paprika for the colors. You can add anything you like. But I'm going to leave it plain. Let's bake it. I've just placed it in the oven. I'm going to leave it for 10 minutes and then flip it over for another 10 minutes till it's golden brown. As you can see, the chips is almost done. So I'm going to switch it off and remove it. Chips is done, but if you fry it, it will be much golden brown. Okay, if you want it crispy, there's another method of frying and make it crisp. You can add flour, dust it with flour, and that will normally crisp the chips, or you don't even have to add it. It still works. As you can see it's done. So we're going to serve it with tomato sauce. I love tomato ketchup or tomato sauce, whatever you call it. Let's put it in this basket and dress it for the thumbnail. That's how it looks. It's very pretty, right? If you like my content, please hit the subscribe button, like and follow. Thank you.